Currently, Mexico it helps the United States by um, detaining and deporting tens of thousands of Central Americans uh, who are caught crossing no, the border illegally. No. We, we, well, with Plan Frontera but, Sur. But, but I want, what I want to emphasize is what we do on migration policy, we do it because it's in A, our best interest, or B, it is established in our own laws. So, yes, there is a, an important number of uh, nationals from Central America that enter irregularly Mexico. What about and the argument that these are people who are fleeing violence, human rights attorneys who say that Mexico is actually breaking international refugee law on behalf of the United States by, by deporting these people back to Central America? What, what does Mexico say about that? Well, I, I, I would respectfully say that they're wrong. And I, 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 you know, I think that I, I would invite them to have a conversation with us about what is actually going on. Uh, if, if Mexico decides that uh, it's going to deport or repatriate Central American nationals because they enter our country um, with the appropriate documentation, that in a sense does not have to do anything with the United States. Certainly, we, we must do that in a humane way, with absolute respect of human rights, in accordance with international law, and that's what we do. But every country has a right to enforce its own immigration laws. What about the fact that some of these people are fleeing violence, heading to the United States, and the same criminal organizations that have uh, power in Central America extend through Mexico? Precisely because organized crime is international nowadays. We must work with uh, you know, countries like the United States and Central America, as the United States must work with us in Central America, and vice versa. And I think that, uh, you know, rightly so, but these, these, you know, these NGOs or, or the centers, I think that they would agree that it's also very risky for people to fall into the hands of human smugglers and traffickers. And the sort of uh, cooperation that we're having is very much centered on that. And can you just, um, before we finish, an answer me, it, will, will Mexico require asylum seekers from Central America to apply for asylum in Mexico rather than in the United States? Is that a possibility or is that something what that you're leaving to the at, next what administration? What we're looking at right now is simply the fact that Mexico itself has recently encountered a significant increase in request for, in our case, refuge, which is you know, translated in asyl asylum in the United States. Uh, our, the numbers have grown exponentially in the past uh, three to four or five years. And what we want to do is establish best practices from a regional perspective that first, we, we need to improve our capacity to address that phenomenon in Mexico, irrespective of the United States. And at the same time, I believe that we want to work with the United States to make sure that uh, you know, asylum systems anywhere are not abused. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for your time. Thank you. Thank Good you very luck. much. My pleasure. Thank you.